Hello everybody. Today we are going to make one balloon flower. My YouTube friend Megalex Zaragoza uh, shares design of this um, balloon sculpture on his uh, YouTube channel. I like uh, the design of this balloon sculpture. The center part of the flower, the first bubble, is made with uh, tulip twist. There are a couple ways to make the same flower even simpler. And that's what we are going to do today. Inflate appropriate color balloon leaving about 5-7 inch flat tail. Let's twist the first soft about 2 inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. This is going to be the center part of the flower. Um, as you can see it's uh, simpler to make it this way than uh, making tulip twist. The rest part of the flower we're making in the same way as um, described in a Megalex instruction. We have to twist a chain of 7 bubbles. In this example I'm making all 7 bubbles of about the same size up to 2 inch long. Uh, also it would make sense to make the last 5 bubbles about 1 inch long. Now we have to lock both ends of the chain of the last 5 bubbles in one lock twist. And then we force the first bubble through the loop of the last 5 bubbles. We have made the blossom. Now let's make a stem with 2 leaves. Twist the ninth about 2, maybe 3 inch long bubble. Then we twist uh, the tenth and the eleventh soft about 3, maybe 4 inch long bubbles. Lock all ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the leaves. And also we have made the flower. Let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. Here's the front view. The back view. I have couple inch long flat tail at the end of the balloon. So I'm going to make the funny tail. I think this way the flower looks even better. And here is a flower with a tulip twist at the center of the blossom. Also I want to show you another way to make the same flower without tulip twist. This time we're going to work a balloon starting from the upper side end of the balloon. We have to inflate balloon starting from this end. And that's the reason why I'm stretching the end of the balloon. It would make it easier to inflate. Make sure the balloon starts inflating uh, from the upper side end. If necessary you have to pump the uh, first bubble to the uh, very end of the balloon. And only then we inflate balloon leaving about 3 maybe 5 inch flat tail. Once again uh, this time we inflate in balloon making the flat tail at the nozzle end of the balloon. In this example we are going to twist bubbles starting from upper side end of the balloon. Here you can see the flat tail at the nozzle end of the balloon. Let's twist the first about one maybe two inch long bubble at the round end of the balloon. This bubble is the center of the flower. The rest of the sculpture will work basically in the same way as we did previously. Let's twist the chain of uh, the next two about two inch long bubbles. And then we twist a chain of the next five about one inch long bubbles. The last five bubbles represent the petals of the flower. Smaller size petals better hold the first bubble, the center part of the flower. Now we have to lock both ends of the chain of the last five bubbles. And then we force the first bubble through the loop of the chain of the last five bubbles. We have made the blossom. Here's the front view, the side view. Let's twist the ninth about two, maybe three inch long bubble. Then we twist uh, the tenth and the eleventh, soft about three inch long bubbles. We have to lock all ends of the tenth and the eleventh bubbles in one lock twist. That's it. We have made the stem with leaves. Actually if you have a long stem uh, then you can make uh, one more leaf. 
In this example I have flat tail at the end of the balloon, that's why I'm making the funny tail. Congratulations again, we have made the flower. Here's the back view, the side view and the front view. Now let's uh, put uh, the flowers next to each other, this way we can see the difference. The only difference is the center part of the flower, how we made it. Let's put all flowers together in a bouquet. Once again I want to say thank you to Megalex for sharing this and many other balloon designs. Have fun and happy twisting!